It's strange to come home to Los Angeles. This is my first time back since I left for college. My parents are moving to New York and home as I've known it will not be here. Originally, I looked at this winter term as a series of lasts. It would be the last time I got Pazzo Gelato or a New Amsterdam sandwich at Fred 62. The last glimpse of downtown Los Angeles from my bedroom window. The last time I picked up Jack and Dart to catch a late night improv show at Upright Citizens Brigade. I'd be saying goodbye to friends I've known from elementary through high school. Because of this, I felt that I needed to film all that made LA my home for the past 18 years. I started filming places around the neighborhood and noticed that some things had changed. I thought that I was going to revisit all that made LA my home and everything I filmed, but the result felt less like that and more like whining over a list of locations I needed to visit one last time. That's not what I wanted to convey. So, I pivoted. LA wasn't this representation of everything I loved in life that was only to be ripped away by my parents' move. It was my childhood. From year zero to 18, I've been in Los Angeles. I've lived in Los Angeles. I loved it. I made great friends. I got to see the city from my window, Dodger Stadium, fireworks. The city is busting. Comedy, music, art radiating from every nook and cranny. This was the background, the city, that made me love my time here. back expecting everything I loved about LA to continue like I hadn't missed a beat. But that's impossible. I was gone for four months. That's nothing in the grand scheme of things. However, leaving for college marked the end of my childhood in Los Angeles. I'll never go back to that. It's only accessible through memory now. The last time everyone that made up my childhood was with me is behind me now. It may have never even existed, but so what? This trip wasn't the last hurrah of my childhood. It couldn't be. People spread out, some don't come back. A sixth grader has my locker now. It was no more mine than it is his. But so what? While it has taken me a while to adjust to the reality that my parents are moving to New York and that I won't have a home in Los Angeles, I'm not heartbroken. I thought my final days in Los Angeles were going to be gut-wrenching, and I imagined only long goodbyes. But in some way, I had come to realize that I had already left Los Angeles when I came to Oberlin. With this in mind, I know that I'm happy about this because 
I know that from this point forward, my relationship with LA is entirely up to me.